welcome back to the channel and today we're gonna be exploring the mushroom planet over here miko terra and the way i want to explore it is i'm going to try to build a helicopter rover like a flying little helicopter drone thing because uh, although i'm pretty sure propellers don't actually work in the space in space in the space map uh i think they work in atmosphere on the space map or at least they should i actually i have no idea if that's actually true or not but i would assume that they would if there's atmosphere hey let, you know what there's a really easy way to test this right now let me just attach a propeller to this seat and off we don't go okay we got nothing so now uh let's go over to this atmosphere i'm gonna get over there using the ship that i built in the multiplayer emp only battle and i saw some comments pointing out that uh this kind of looks if you look at the stream of rocket exhaust it kind of looks like a sword like that's the the blade of the sword actually the whole thing looks kind of like a lightsaber but it's kind of like looks a little bit like a hilt i guess if i kind of reverse the direction of the prongs at the top with the emps but so that was kind of cool oh boy oh this this planet is so small in comparison to uh dune over there but let's check out what the atmosphere is like and what the gravity is like here because that is going to determine some things but wait hold on a second before i do that there's some interesting like th this one asteroid here just seems like so far away from the rest of the asteroids i just kind of want to take a look real quick anything special about you you're just here by yourself all right, I wonder if there's like one special asteroid. Well, there is that one special asteroid that has a gravitational pull, but ignoring that and whoa, look at the sides of this planet. The side does not the size. I see some gold, some loot there. This is interesting. There's so many little things about this, but I have not entered any atmosphere yet. All right, well, let's enter the atmosphere. I hope there's an atmosphere. If there's not an atmosphere, my whole premise of this video Oh, there we go. We got atmosphere. Oh, that's a lot of atmosphere. That's a lot of atmosphere. And we have 50% uh, gravity. All right. I already see some gold. Uh, gold all over the place. This is perfect for a, uh, a little helicopter drone. I'm going to build like the smallest little helicopter drone I can. But now let's do a quick test. If I attach a propeller to a seat, does it fly? Look at that. We have propulsion. Ah, ah, let me get okay. So now I want to try to use um, the new gyro stabilizer. I haven't actually really used a gyro stabilizer yet. And I think a helicopter is a perfect, a perfect thing to use for a gyro sta stabilizer. And I keep saying helicopter. I mean more of like a, a propeller drone because the helicopter has a little bit more of a particular image that comes to mind. But kind of like the helicopter Mars, the, the Mars drone helicopter that they had. But in order for me to fly this thing around, I do have to attach a seat to it. So maybe this seat? Oh, this might actually be really good because I can attach a propeller to the top. This could be actually, this could be so, this might be like extremely simple. I hope that this is as simple as I'm about, as I think it is. So then we go into gyro stabilizer so in order for this to stay perfectly upright without me having to manually balance it we need a gyro stabilizer on this axis and we also need a gyro stabilizer on this axis and just to make it symmetrical i'm just gonna duplicate them like that so we're gonna have double stabilization on these axes so when these are active are they on by default i believe they're on by default so now you can, I'm actually trying to use my seat controls. You can see I can use my seat controls to actually turn. Oh, you know, this is so perfect. This is actually so perfect because now what I can do, I'm actually going to disable seat controls entirely because I am, uh, I don't want to be like fighting these at all. And now I'm going to have a normal gyro right on the bottom. This diving bell is like perfect for this because now with this gyro here, I'm going to go Q and E. So now you can see I can turn myself and it keeps me very stable. So now all I need is, uh, okay, now all I need is like full control. So I need forward, backwards, and then I need strafing, essentially. Wait, why did I do Q and E? I should have done A and D. Q and E will be strafing. This is gonna be such a, I cannot believe how easy this is going to be. For sideways thrust, oh, look at this. Look at, look at this. All right, so there's strafe left. 
There is go forward. There's strafe right. There is backwards. Why? And then I don't need... So normally... I would like I would use thrusters to then also have turning, but I don't need that because I have the gyro. This is gonna be so simple in comparison to what I'm used to doing. There we go. I go up. Now I can go forward. I can go backwards. I can go I can turn and I can strafe left and I can strafe right. I have like a completely functional drone already. But it's really annoying right now. Oh, <gasps> No, that won't work. No, will it work? Maybe I don't use propellers. Maybe I use wings. Oh, oh, I'm going to try something here. This is going to be even better. Now I want to use the collective pitch method like a helicopter does where I just have um, propellers with flaps that I can then control the pitch of the flaps to determine how much force they're going to give me. So I'm not going to be using the actual built-in propellers i'm going to be making my own with the helicopter the stackable helicopter engine and because we're in an atmosphere this should work i'll go ahead and use the wing the small flap wing so now they should cancel out okay but i should not be okay this is actually kind of kind of already doing well the problem is it has too much lift so i can start designing this thing and adding weight to it and if i can equalize the lift that's going to be amazing. If I could just have it be equal already. Oh, yeah. Do you think this is going to be small enough? I hope this is actually small enough. You know what? I might change these uh, end pieces out. This could work. Just to decrease my profile a little bit, I'm going to add uh, these little wing tips. So it'll be much less of a profile. All right. That actually does work. Now it is a little bit heavy by default. I want to give it a nice... I want to give it a nice trim where it's just equal. All right, so here is the deal uh, that I've been able to equalize it. So check it out. If I press space, I go up. And if I release space, you can see I kind of equal out. And I just kind of, I do sink a little bit, but this is all adjustable. And then if I press control, I can actually like go down for real. So the way I've done it is I have an altitude sensor. This altitude sensor is just always on. It's not really detecting altitude. I just have it to any anytime it's above negative 500. This is just triggering all of these, all of my flaps to have an output of uh, 0.4. So you can see when I zoom in here, you can see they are slightly turned down and that is just equally equalizing out my buoyancy. So then when I turn on my propellers, I'm just kind of at an equal level. You can see I'm already kind of just floating here. And that means when I apply more uh, pitch to them, then I go up. And then when I apply less, I go down. But then I don't have to constantly keep myself at the right level. And the cool thing about that is when I release space or control, it just automatically evens out. <laughs> I just realized... I started building this thing like uh, this. I thought this was the back and this was the front. So I put a spotlight here. I put like antennas back here. And I just realized the seat is facing that way. And it's not just as simple as rotating the seat because all these thrusters and everything is programmed in the other way. You know, it's not that bad. Okay, I do got to just rotate the seat that way. Now I just take all of the thrusters and then I also just rotate them that way. Is this functional? Forward, backwards, strafe left, strafe right, turn. That works great. Okay, crisis averted. Now, uh, you can see I'm, I'm adding a big old spotlight down here. Uh, some headlights, some side, side illumination, because there's a cave hidden on this island somewhere. I'm going to find it. We're going to explore the cave, but I realized, you know, we should probably have some lights some lighting in here all right i think i've done it i painted it up i'm not I, I really tried a lot of different paint jobs and i didn't find anything i was super happy with but um this is what i got okay so as you can see i think i've equalized it up pretty well i've uh, put the altitude sensor to 0.59 strength and that seems to do what i need it to do so now i should just be able to fly this thing around super easily as I, uh, I just, I just rely on everything. Well, okay, okay. Should I have... The, there is atmosphere on here. I'm just realizing that I don't really have a lot of drag. So, 
I don't know if I should have drag or not. Because when I stop going, do I want to just, like, float or do I want to stop? I, I'm going to go with what I got right now and we'll just see how it feels. It looks like there's a lot of hidden, not hidden, but just a lot of um, loot just chilling right on the surface here. Oh, come on. I thought it was close enough. There we go. Uh, all right, careful, careful, careful. What about on top of here? All right, nothing on top of there. Oh, we got something over here. I'm just going to go around and collect all the loot that's just plainly visible. And then we're going to explore underneath the mushrooms, which I think is going to be much more difficult um, to navigate. Not, but maybe not even that difficult. Just more difficult. But I think I built a pretty good vehicle here to do exactly what I needed to do. All right, another piece of gold. Or not piece of gold, 250 gold. There's so much gold just sitting on the surface waiting to be collected. Who put this gold here? It's almost like, uh, I feel like it's almost like a trap. Like they're, they're leaving little breadcrumbs for me to follow. And I'm like falling right into their trap. There we go. All right. I am very, very happy. Wait, hold on. What's going on here? <gasps> I Why is the atmosphere lower? Oh, because I'm at the edge. Because I just realized... Without when that look at the atmosphere gauge as the atmosphere gauge goes down I lose lift which perfectly makes sense. I hope the tunnel Like the interior of this planet. I hope that it doesn't make me lose uh, Lift I hope the atmosphere is okay. All right. This is gonna be difficult. All right I think I've collected most of the visible loot on the surface. So I'm gonna dive down underneath the mushrooms now I gotta keep track of where my front is. I did color code it, so the back is darker, the front is lighter. But here we go. Let's find a little path down here. Actually, what is first? Okay, first person is absolutely terrible. That's unfortunate. Okay, here we go. Here's the mushroom. Here's the uh, mushrooms I've heard so much about from the chirpos. Apparently, the chirpos really like these mushrooms. But I don't think I can do anything with these mushrooms. No, it seems like they're just solid static objects. So now I have to explore to find this cave. There's some sounds happening. Hold on a second. Let me uh, land here. Oh, I should have some landing gear. Do you hear this? <laughs> Sounds like there's a lot of potential wildlife here. All right, but I am realizing that this thing, unfortunately, is missing a decent amount of landing gear, uh, which is going to add some weight. All right, I got some landing gear. It looks a little awkward, but uh, that is because it is just circularly symmetrical. But it is not symmetrical. Like, if you cut it in half either way, it's not symmetrical. But uh, circularly, it's symmetrical, so it shouldn't really affect my weight in any negative way. But I think it'll be much more stable. Oh, uh, uh, I'm okay. Just, just do a quick repair. Turn it on. Okay. Good recovery. Good recovery. All right, let's continue along. I am just a little bit, a little bit bigger. The my vertical profile is a little, uh, a little more sketchy navigating through here. I'm just realizing I have these, uh, these antenna. I have them on black. They should totally be on like red or something. All right, where is this cave? I mean, we still have the outside of the planet, but I don't think this thing can actually... Oh, I see it. Found it. I found the cave. All right. I just followed the followed the valley under the mushrooms, and now I found the cave. All right. We're going in here with an aerial... A helicopter. A exploration helicopter. Oh. I think I built myself a good size here. I have heard that this is a long cave, but I think... Yeah, I think my vehicle's cut out for the job. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. It is a dark cave, but fortunately, I have a ton of light on this thing in all directions. Mostly in the front, though. All right, I'm doing a decent job at flying through this thing. Varying altitudes. Look like It looks like our atmosphere is good. I was worried that as we go deeper into the cave that there might be less atmosphere for whatever reason. I don't know how that would work, but um, I don't know. And when I got to the edge of the planet, I had less atmosphere. Oh boy, I'm going a little bit too fast now. Oh, no, 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 down, 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 down. Okay, man, 
The shadows in this cave are weird. Oh, I think we're reaching the end. There we go. Okay. All right, immediately some loot right here. Here we are. All right, we have made it to the center of Miko Terra. And there is some big mushrooms down here. And something... Something over here in the middle of all... Is that a giant chirpo? Is this a giant chirpo? Wait, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, I came from up there, right? It looks like there's another cave down here, but it looks like there's a pathway. Whoa, this thing goes deep. And it looks like there's like a land ramp up here. I just wanted to see where that land ramp came from. All right, I'm going to go to the chirpo. Can you even talk? Oh, he's got the mushroom. Oh, he's not a giant chirpo. He's a, he's a chubby chirpo. He's been eating the mushrooms all to himself. All right, hello, Chirpo. Chirpo? Oh, he's gonna talk to me. More. Oh, no. Oh, I don't think these mushrooms are actually good for the Chirpos. Oh, they're addicting. Oh, poor Chirpo. He's so chonky. Chonky Chirpo. He's a chonko. Like, he's surrounded by gold, but all he cares about is the mushrooms. He's like, take my money. Give him more mushrooms. All right, well, you're surround- Why are you saying more? You're- You're literally holding a mushroom in your hand. And you're surrounded by what is probably... Uh, uh, I'm okay. What is probably the biggest mushrooms you've ever seen in your whole life. And you're not satiated. There's something wrong with these mushrooms. All right. Now, what is going on down here? This goes way lower. Way deeper than I was expecting. All right, look. There's like another cave over here. This is totally not the cave I came in. All right. I'm going to go out to this cave. But there's like another way to go. Uh oh, watch the atmosphere. The atmosphere is going to disappear and I'm going to like, I'm going to be, I'm going to be done. Yeah, I can see the needle is starting to move now. All right, I'm not going to be able to survive out here. Wait, is there? Oh, that must be that chirpo that I met last uh, time I explored the planet. So you can see now I'm dropping in altitude as I come out here to the edge of the planet. I need like, oh, I can't even lift up anymore. I need like a backup thruster is what I need. All right, so if I go out, is there anything? What is this? Okay, there's nothing down there. So there's just there's one of those caverns that go out to the side, like an exit, an exit from the entire planet. All right, but I need to go back into the cave to get my atmosphere back. There it goes. Wait, another cave? Where does this cave go? Okay, hold on. Whoa, what? I wasn't expecting that. I pressed repair, and instead of my ship coming to me, I went to my ship. All right, can I bring it back up here? There we go. All right, I should be able to fly with this. So now where does this cave go? It probably just goes back to the same cavern, right? Wait, was that the cave I came out of? I think that was the cave I came out of. Wait, is it? Yeah, okay. I th For some reason, I thought that was a new cave. I got turned around. All right, so now there was another way to go. Here we go, down here. This probably leads to one of those other uh, exterior caverns. All right, here we go. New cave discovered. Oh, we got some loot at the end of this one. There's a light at the end. <laughs> There's a loot at the end of the tunnel. My right, atmosphere is disappearing again, so I'm probably gonna have to get out of my ship. It's struggling. It is struggling to lift the atmosphere. All right, you can stay here where you have a little bit of lift. Okay, what do we got? Anything else over here? All right, looks like that's it. Just a little bit more loot. All right, I am returning back into the tunnel. I really need to get back into the more dense atmosphere for these blades to work. You know, I built so many things that uh, worked in space but did not work in atmosphere or gravity. And now I've built something to the complete opposite. Works in atmosphere and gravity. But uh, it will not work in space at all. All right. Is there anything else I'm missing from this cavern here? Not seeing any other exits. Oh, yeah, it seems like those are the only exits. But I feel like there was more on the exterior of the planet, wasn't there? Maybe? I don't know. All right. I'm going to go ahead and take a shortcut by spawning at the point on the surface rather than traveling all the way back through the tunnel. All right. And then let me transform into one of my ships. And I want to take a look around the perimeter of the planet again. Because I'm pretty sure... Oh, I forgot how to fly this thing. I am pretty sure that there was more caverns than I discovered. There was like a longer... Wait, did I discover this one? Wait, hold on a second. It's so hard to tell. 
I don't know if I was at this one. Does this one go into the planet? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was totally at this one. Okay. All right. And then on the opposite side, there's this one. Which, yep, I do remember that one. Okay, that one has a big platform. Oh, but then there's like this up here. What is this all about? Let us land here. <laughs> ow, ow, ow. There we go. Gonna use my other, my land rover now because there's no atmosphere out here. I need the ground contact. I still have gravity and I have my downwards force. So this is gonna be good exploration for this. So now like between this land rover and my um, aerial, my helicopter, I feel like I'm pretty well equipped to explore the planets. I can fly and I can go across the ground and wall crawl. But yeah, this one, this area I have not been. Where is this going? All right, look at that. Wait, we got that one there. Here, I can just fly up and get this. Yeah, so this one looks like it, it has no access to the interior of the planet. This is just an external pocket cavern. All right, and let us fly back off into space i should put my helicopter on the uh the transform list too for when i want to fly up in an atmosphere so that helicopter is like very specifically tuned to this planet i don't even think it could potentially work on the other planets i've been at oh i got found a little bit of gold here so yeah if i try if i uh travel fast travel to dune the other planet i've been in and i spawn in the helicopter here how's the atmosphere oh this has more this has just as much atmosphere but slightly more gravity so this one, it does work, but now you can see if I let go, I don't hover perfectly. So this does not have like an adaptive hover. I don't even know if you could really do that unless you're sensing the ground, in which case you would only hover at a certain altitude rather than hovering at like whatever your designated altitude is. So I don't know what the way to do that would be. Oh, can I talk to this Chirpo? I don't think I did. Greetings, Trailmaker. This planet gives me an odd underwater feeling. Uh, did I talk to this chirpo? And it seems to be as dry as the ancient desert. I wonder if this planet used to be inhabited by fish or something. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay, hold on. Did I miss a chirpo over here then? How did I not realize there were chirpos next to these things? Hello and welcome. The aroma on this planet is beak watering. Those blue mushrooms are so snackable. Our scanners have detected a big appetizing cluster of them. They seem to be deep underground. Okay, I mean, elusive snack cave of sorts a snack cave i like that i need a snack cave i think every every house deserves a snack cave what would you put in your snack cave all right well i think mission accomplished i wanted to come here and build a exploration helicopter drone and i think i've achieved that goal i'm really happy with how functional this thing is and it was so easy to get it to be like super stable and functional thanks to these gyro stabilizers and the gyro block to help with the turning and yeah, I got strafing. I got everything I want in this thing. So yeah, if you guys, uh, now all that's left for exploration, I've done the asteroid field. I've done uh, NASA. I've done Miko Terra. I've done Dune. Hullroom is the only place I have not gone to yet. So what kind of craft do you think would be good for Hullroom? Actually, I don't even know what the atmosphere is like. I don't know if there is atmosphere. I don't know what the gravity is like. So, um... I guess we'll find out when I get there and I'll be looking at your comments to see if you have any suggestions for an optimal exploration vehicle because I built a rover for this planet, I built a spaceship for this planet, battleship for that planet, and um, I built a helicopter drone for this one. So I think it's only right to build a dedicated version for this planet. So I'm open to those suggestions down in the comments below. If you guys enjoyed this video, you'll probably enjoy some more that you can find right here on the end screen. Hope this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.